So the next, this next song is called Levy. It's about driving from uh, Raymond, Maine to New York City, like through the night. I left Raymond around 8 p.m. and I got to New York at like 5 in the morning. Um, and I was, I had just gotten done in this really isolated community. Has anybody read Walden? Okay. Um, I was in a place very much like that. It was sort of like no electronics, no electricity, like wood, wood heat, um, stuff like that. I was teaching for a program called the New England Literature Program, um, where you sort of learn about New England authors and transcendentalist authors. So like, like Emily Dickinson and Thoreau and stuff like that. So I sort of hadn't had access to a stereo uh, or a television or an iPod or a cell phone for two months. Uh, and I was on my way to New York. And I was driving to go see my friend, who I cared about very much and still do. And I was giving a, another person from the program a ride. At, at this point, the story's probably gotten back to her. Um, but uh, she was having a really rough time. And she just started weeping as we pulled away from where all our, we'd just gotten ice cream with a bunch of friends. Um, and she was sort of on her way to a I guess a place that she wasn't necessarily looking forward to going to, it was just over, overwhelmed, and she just started weeping uncontrollably as we were like pulling away, and I was in this super good mood, because I was like, I'm gonna put some tunes on the stereo, oh, like, I'm gonna watch a movie, like, this is gonna be great, um, and she just freaked out and didn't really know what to say, <coughs> and she cried for a long time. Do you feel like 
there needs to be a certain amount of struggle and hardship in order to build up to something special and something that creates like good and like lasting art? That's a really good question. Um, I think so. I, it's weird for me to quote this, but do you guys have, do you know Eddie Izzard? Yes. <laughs> okay, Eddie Izzard says this thing that I think rings pretty true, where he is talking about the differences between like English church music and uh, like blues and mu the music that came out of slavery. Um, so I think that somehow, at least within a human, when you suffer or when you're struggling, I think somehow you're able to communicate things in a, in a way that you wouldn't. His example is like all the English church hymns are sort of like, you know, like, you know, and blues is like incredible, you know, like, so I, I you know, like rarely have I ever been in, a, you know, listening to hymnal music or church music, especially from that, you know, uh, from, from sort of that culture, at, I've never really been super moved or been like, you know, it seems very solemn and dry, but the blues makes me cry all the time. So I think I think that it's true. I think that I think lasting art is a lot of times out of struggle, but not necessarily always. I think it also it doesn't have to be like physical suffering. It could be mental suffering or some sort of anguish. But I also think that lasting art also comes out of like intellectual pursuit or like emotional pursuit as well. You don't have to be unhappy to make great art. So I think both things are true. Yes, suffering creates great art, but so does intellectual pursuit.